So Mark, you know, we've talked about for years and years now, I mean, you folks need more funding to be able to keep up mm -hmm. with the roads and the bridges, but we're also trying to find ways with the funding you have to be able to make it stretch further, right? And I know you've had a lot of ideas over the years and other county officials have had ideas over the years about how we can probably make the dollars that you're currently getting stretch further. Mm -hmm. So I think that's the impetus behind us trying to put yep. this program together. You know, this low-risk bridge pilot program is going to deliver projects in a timelier manner and time timing is money uh, the longer it the longer it takes to design something the longer that the project is open the more money gets charged to it um, and then by delivering these projects quicker we also gain market where, where we have efficiencies because we're coming to let a year or two in advance of what we anticipated. So the right. funding should go further. Right. You know, from our standpoint, a lot of times people at the state level only look at our side of the ledger mm -hmm. uh, when we look at saving money or being more efficient, and we obviously have to look at that. Mm -hmm. But from the taxpayer standpoint, if we can save you money on your end, mm -hmm. that, you know, every, it comes out of one pocket or the well, other that, for the taxpayer. That's exactly correct. People don't, people don't recognize you know, the, t the towns or the county, they'll recognize that they have a 20% stake in it and it's an 80% um, either state or federal funding depending on the program. They look at it and say, what did that cost us? You know, it cost us, like in this particular instance, this bridge is budgeted at $419,000. They don't care where the money came from. They just want, if, if we can build it for 380, they want it built for 380. Right. So when, when you're doing this and you're, you know, you're working with engineers and you're doing, you have to follow a lot of regulations, mm -hmm. state regulations, federal regulations, and, and that's what adds a lot of time yes. and, and money then uh, yes. to the, some of these projects. And we do want to make sure that we're protecting the environment, mm -hmm. that we've got quality control, that the bridges are going to last, that we're not, you know, doing... Uh, things to streams and, and that, but but we also feel like we can, in, in instances where it's low risk and they're more straightforward, we can probably speed these up, right? Yes, and that, again, that's the whole the whole point of this program is that there are any number of regulations that would apply to a project on I-94, for example, that really wouldn't apply to this, but the way that the, way that the program is designed, it's kind of a one, one shoe fits all. So what we're trying to do is develop a new model for what the local program would work with so that it's, it's streamlined so we don't have to check all of the boxes that we wouldn't have to check that they exactly. would have to check on a bigger project. Exactly. So I know in the past some, of we've, some folks have tried to accomplish that by doing what they've called the FedSeg swap mm -hmm. and, and to get federal dollars out of some programs like this so there might be some more leeway to do those things. Mm -hmm. we, we, not, we might not have that ability uh, to do that anymore after some legislative changes, mm -hmm. but to be honest, we never got to the point that we were able to deliver any programs under that before anyways, right? No, that's correct. That, that, that all happened in such a short time frame. The discussion was just started about the Fed, the Fed swap that we, we never had an opportunity to even move forward before the law was changed and we couldn't. So what I'm excited about that we've been able to work with WCHA and accomplish 16 bridges in this initial pilot. And even without that, uh, you know, these are going to be state-only dollars. So it's going to allow us some more ability to mm -hmm. streamline our process for you, hopefully, and to, to shorten that time frame. But this is going to, we're going to learn a lot from this yes. pilot. And uh, our desire is to move forward and that we can even streamline even when there is federal dollars involved, because they're going to be involved in a lot of, a lot of bridges, oh, yeah. but that we can save money on all of them. Well, the program that was approved was 183 bridges. 16 in the pilot is, you know, roughly 10% of the, of the total. The other 90% is still following the other rules, and it's going to be over the next several years that those projects start the design process. So what we learn in doing this project, we'll be able to transfer to that. Well, I think that's great, and I know it's uncomfortable for everybody on, on your end, and I know on our end. We're asking people to, to really push things and do things, but in the end, it is, we're never going to have enough money to get to all of the physical assets that we need to. So we need to do everything we can to make sure we get to as many as we can. Yeah, that's exactly correct, and another component that with the structure we're looking at here is going to be bundled with three other bridges in the county. So we're going to gain some efficiencies there from having the same designer do four bridges at the same time so they're not going to have to mobilize up and down several times for each individual bridge. They can come and hit all four. And also from a contractor's perspective, now we're going to have a, a much more attractive bid package so we should get better prices and fit our timelines. And that's important because for you, what, what we've got going on here is kind of two different things we're piloting. We've got streamlining the process, which there's 16 bridges and we've got a lot of counties doing, but you're helping us pilot what you just said, bundling these bridges yes. too. And that's another area that we think we might be able to do more. Yes. Well, Fed Federal Highways has identified bridge bundling as one of their everyday count initiatives. The everyday count program 
is to bring initiatives to bear that would, would provide techno technological or, um, or just process aspects that would improve things. Uh, and that's what we're trying to do here. So tell me about this bridge right here. Well, this particular bridge was built in uh, 1965. It's 54 years old. It is in need of replacement. There's some pretty bad structure members underneath it. It's still capable of carrying the load. It's, it's safe, but it's reached the end of its life. What we're going to do here is this bridge will be replaced with a similar structure, a single span bridge. It's pretty straightforward. We've, we don't have much environmental impacts here on this structure. We won't have much for real estate if any real estate needs. Uh, we own enough right away around here. Uh, it should be a pretty straightforward project and it matches in with the other, the other three that are going to be in the same package. So uh, how many bridges do you have in your, in your, in your system here in, in Barron County? 259. 259. Yes. So what about the other three bridges that we're going to be bundling with this? Okay. How old are they? The other three bridges that we have uh, range in age from 74 years to 99 years. Um, and that, that's kind of a mirror of, of what we see on the local level. Bridges are expensive to replace. It's, it's a lot of money in a very short uh, length. And the, the towns and locals just don't have that money to, to be replacing them. That's why it's important that we have the programs available. So this bridge and those other three, the way, the way we're working this is, for us, that's going to be one project. So you could manage mm -hmm. all of those together. That's, that's correct. And that's yes. going to save you. That's correct, yeah. We're going to, be, we're, we're going to have one design consultant. And, and then when it goes to contract, we get through... We get through to the February letting, and it, it gets let. There will be one contractor that will have all four. He'll be bidding on all four bridges in one package. So we're hoping to let this project and the other three in February. In well, February, one project, yes. but this bridge and the other three in That's February. That's correct. Yes. And hoping to be done. Yes. By by fall of next year. By fall of next year. Yeah, we're gonna. We would give the contractor some flexibility as far as an end date, so it can fit better to their schedule, which again would be something that should get us good pricing. Well, I, I'm really excited. I'm, we got 16 bridges. You're gonna, you're gonna help us uh, learn and, and prove that I think that we can do this, and hopefully we can save a lot of money. Yeah, we're gonna be successful.